consider some state of a Markov process or a stochastic process, and uh, you let's say the stochastic process leaves the state S and goes into some other state and continues on in some trajectory subsequent to that. It's going to be the case that either the stochastic process has zero probability of re-entering state S in the future, or it has a non-zero probability of re-entering state S in the future. So if the stochastic process will, is guaranteed to never re-enter the state S once it leaves it, uh, after a finite number of steps, then we say that this is a transient state. On the other hand, if the stochastic process has some probability of re-entering the state after a finite number of steps at some point in the future, then it's called a recurrent state. So here's an example of a stochastic process with this transient state. Let's say that we have, in, the, in this case, three states. We'll label them 0, 1, and 2. And 1 and 2 have some kind of uh, uh, relationship like this. One can, you can stay in 1 for a while, go to 2, etc. But once you, when you go from 0 to 1, then you never come back to 0 again. In this case, this would be a transient state. This one is transient. And these two are recurrent states. Let's add some notation to describe the situation a little bit better. We'll use the notation f sub j super n to denote the probability that the first return return to state j is after n steps. Then we can say that state j is recurrent if the sum f j n equals 1. And so what this sum means is that the total probability of returning after some finite number of steps uh, is going to be 1. So it's guaranteed to return after some number of steps. It may not be, it may be a very large number of steps, but eventually there is going to be a first return after Perhaps, you know, to make this more concrete, you could say after three steps, there's some probability. After 20 steps, there's some probability. After a million steps, there's some probability. It doesn't matter. If we sum it all up, uh, then in the end, we are going to come back to the state eventually. Uh, on the other hand, if this is not equal to 1, if there's, some, if there's a non-zero probability that uh, we never come back, then we'll call this transient. Uh, we have another term which we call the expected recurrence period. And this is what you'd expect. It's just uh, it's the number of steps multiplied by the probability that this takes so many steps. That is fjn multiplied by n. Uh, now this sum over here has two probabilities. Either it's finite or it's infinite. It's infinite meaning the sum diverges. If it is finite, th then uh, we call this recurrent non-null. And in this case, it's called recurrent null. No. 
So what this means is that in, in the recurrent null case, it is going to come back, but in expectation, the uh, time to return is infinite. So the, the because this expect this diverges, so we have a sort of a weird state, a weird chain over here with uh, with with some divergence over here. And so basically, this is a state that we don't want. We don't want to be in this situation. This is a pathological case. Uh, we always would like to be in this situation of having a recurrent non-null. And we'll see why this is the case uh, a bit in the future.